Hey everybody, welcome to another tutorial on how to edit red footage. Sorry I haven't been able to uh, do this for you. I had a couple things going on. First off, this mic wasn't working. Second of all, we uh, moved our office. Uh, we, we moved just down the street. I got this sweet new office. Uh, it's over two to three times the size as my last one. It's uh, a real edit suite. We got a nice comfy couch, I got a pet fish, and uh, I'm right at home. So anyway, uh, let's get down to it. I'm gonna show you how to edit red footage using the newest and latest workflow. Um, this is of course for Final Cut Pro. If you're in Premiere, um, you could actually edit these R3D files right in the timeline. You don't have to transcode them or anything. They just go right in your timeline and you're ready to start working. I think that's great. And because of this, and because of Adobe's um, work on catering to the pro market, I'm actually considering switching to Premiere Pro. Anyway, if you're working in Final Cut, this is probably the best way to go about it. So uh, the first thing you want to do is you've got to open your Red Cine program. Red Cine X has come a long way from where it used to be, and the entire Red workflow is now a lot cleaner and better and smoother than ever before. Right now, uh, I'm going to show you how to work Red Cine. It's a really simple process. Basically, on your uh, far left-hand side is your browser. Uh, you're gonna locate your uh, clips. Of course, I have them just sitting on my desktop under Red Tutorial. In this case, since I'm just showing you guys what to do, I'm just gonna drag one clip over. So, now that we have that one clip in our bin, we can either create a new preset or pick one of our older presets that we've used in the past. Since you guys may not know how to create a preset, I'm gonna make one for you right now. Hit that little plus sign there, and you could pick whatever resolution you want. This clip in particular was shot at 2K, so I'm gonna pick the 2K resolution. Um, I prefer to work with a QuickTime codec, and within there, I like to select, for my compression type, Apple ProRes 422. It's a great lossy codec, you may have a different preference that you wish to work in, but Apple ProRes 422 edits really well in Final Cut Pro. So we're gonna click OK. Uh, I'm not gonna send it to Final Cut or anything like that. I'm gonna click OK. I could even name my preset, so I could just call it 2K uh, Tutorial. And click OK. Now that we've created our preset and we've selected it, we're able to figure out what clips we wanna export. I always export the clips in the bin here just because it's the way I do it. Some people like to actually do a rough cut within, within Red Cine X, so you could actually export what's in the timeline. Um, but for our case, I'm going to select um, all clips in the bin, and right now it's just the one clip, and uh, I'm ready to export. But if I wanted to take advantage of the R3D color depth, uh, on the right hand side here, we have all these options to work with the color levels, balances, curves, uh, sharpness. There's more options here than you'll have in a lot of other programs and there's more color depth in these files than in any other file that you'll be pulling out of here. Um, at least any other QuickTime file that you'll be pulling out of here. So you definitely want to be doing some color correction in here, or at least I definitely want it. Again, it's your preference, whatever you want to do. If it was shot well and, it's, and the footage is looking good, just do what works for you. So anyway, now we're just going to export it. And uh, it's going to ask you where you want to do it. I'm just going to throw it on the desktop and hit save. Now I'm just going to speed this part up, but what's going on here now is your files that are rendering are in this little window here, your little batch monitor. And at any point you could pause, cancel, abort all, or clear the list. Okay, now that our footage is all rendered out, we're ready to check out what we got. All we're gonna do is go onto our desktop, select the clip that we rendered out, and take a look. This is a shot of a really old cannon firing. This was shot at 120 frames a second. Pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. All right, anyway, I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Um, if you guys have any questions, please, please, please shoot me a message. I'm always here to help. I do my best to answer all the questions I get. Um, and please stay tuned for the next tutorials. I'm gonna try to do as many as I can, as often as I can. Um, and if you guys have a request for a tutorial, please 
send me a message. Have a good one. Thanks a lot. Gün dolandı dalı taşı Dinmiyor gözümün yaşı Aa, Gelin eyle Tezgününde ayırdı fenek Eyle